What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I got a banana. I just had a preliminary interview with Riot. That was pretty fun. For some Legends of Runeterra. Game design position. So we'll see. If anything comes of that. While I eat this banana. And we do this trick saving draft. Mm -hmm. I want to do a banana draft too. Banana time. <laughs> oh, man. I love you guys. See, th this card is interesting. How many creatures spell you control? You can't copy a creature permanent. It has to be a spell. So you can only cast this when the creature's on the stack. You can't just be like, I'll copy my creature and play. And that's interesting. Hold on, let me look at this Brett, Brett image. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, that's hilarious. I actually think Return Pass Caller is great, and I kind of want to take this. Let me see if I can show you this image that Brett just sent me. Oh, God, I just lost it. Not the image. Oh, God. Gold. Absolute gold. Unlike this pack, which is pretty meh. I don't think Mardu is... Well, I guess you got... Yeah, you got Silver Quill and you have... Um, it's so dark in here. Once I put the banana in front of my face, everything gets real dark. Look how... Look at the significant difference. I'm bright. And now I'm banana dark. And it's just like... what? Wow. It's a significant difference. Um... That is a quality Mimi. I think it's probably this guy. We could take Inquisition, but like, I don't really feel like branching into a third color here. Do you ever take off too much banana and then you're like, oh, let me put some back. So I'm like, I'll just put this back on top of the banana. It'll be that when I need it. This card's good. Let's take this. All of our cards are going to get back other cards. Now I can just take this top bit. Thank you. Oh, Brett was a gifted sub to Banana Eater. And by that, I mean King Eater. Hmm. Brett, I appreciate you, buddy. You are the heart and soul of my life. <sighs> this pack's a little underwhelming. <clears throat> I'm really not looking forward to I'm not looking forward to going into a third color, really, and that's... But I'm really feeling like I might have to at some point. I honestly feel like Lorehold just doesn't do it. I feel like I'm always beating Lorehold decks. I'm like, they just don't do enough on their own. But if you add blue for Prismari or black for Silver Quill, I think you have a lot more depth. I mean, I'm just going to take this for now, because we are running short on Lessons. And by running short, I mean both we have none... And we have no cards that learn yet. So, you know, running short. Teferi's Protection? What's this going for in real life? In real life, he says. I kind of think this is good. Like, it's three mana counters a spell. It prevents you from dying. Like, this is basically a white counter spell. I'm game. 
Shock seems good. 25. This one's going for 25. The, the Mystical Archive one. Um, that's interesting because this card was super up there. Is the original still going for like 40? Is that right? I'll take a Relic Sloth. That makes sense. Could take an agonizing remorse because it came back and we can just just disassemble their hand. Oh, was it in Secret Layer too? What secret layer was it in? I think this is better than this, but then again. You know what? Everything was in Secret Layer. He's not wrong. <clears throat> you were only waiting for the moment to arrive. Iger, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm going to take Defiant Strike. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember this one. God, I hate secret layers that are foil only. Man, that makes me, that drives me bananas. Oh, thrilling discovery? Sure, why not? See, like, all these cards are spirits, right? Like, this is a spirit dwarf, spirit... Spirit Bird, Spirit Soldier, Spirit Cleric. Every, literally almost every Spirit Cleric. Like, this guy's actually... It's actually a thing. Pigment Storm is great. Um, the opponent's hand makes all a non-lane card for him. It's a 3-1 flyer for three at the very least. Like, this card seems great. I do double sleeve. I have I have resealables. All my stuff goes in resealables. Oh wow, dramatic finale. Oh yeah, we're definitely taking that. <laughs> oh, that's that's what's known as a banana banger, as the kids say. It's four white in our non-silver quill deck, which is rough. Like it's funny because I think I actually have my yeah. I still have the I have the. Uh, the Walking Dead right here. What is Academic Probation? Choose a non-land card name. They can't cast it. Choose a non-land permanent. You can't block. Eh. Professor of Symbology is fantastic. See, it sucks that there's no Rakdos land. Rakdos land would help us cast this. Silver Quill land does not actually help us cast this because it was already the land was already producing white anyway. So... This is a core cleric. So I have, so like, here's the thing. These are the secret layers. All These are the secret layer walking deads, all double sleeved. And they are still not straight. Yeah, so like, this is Negan himself. It's double sleeved. It is in a resealable perfect fit and a dragon, sh and, a, and a katana. Actually, this might be a dragon shield. I think this is a dragon shield. But the point is, like, it sucks. Like, wh I just want straight cards, man. Fix your thing or let me buy non-Pringled cards. I'm not asking for a lot, you know? You know? You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, yeah, see, this is a pack, like, where I'm feeling that like we have to. Like, this is our only option. So I'm just going to take Pest Summoning for the sideboard, I guess. Yeah. Combat Professor. Spirit Summoning. Let's take the Archway Commons. Pest 
Put one on counter, put one on counter, put one on counter, sure. So just discard, like, it's a lesson, so I'm actually going to take this. I think it's actually pretty good. Like, if you have, like, three or four lands, you just get to discard them all, draw that many cards, and make a spirit. This guy's pretty good. My wife's upset there was no Year of the Boar secret layer. What is Year of the Boar? Oh, because there was like Year of the Rat and Year of the Dog. Yeah, I feel like just be consistent. There's definitely enough pigs and boars in Magic to make that. And raise Forerunners. Flint Hoof Boar. Spirit summoning is fine. This is like one of the more meh apprentices. Eh. It's still a 2 2 for 2. And if there's like a ground stall, you can just tap all your guys. Or pig. Or is it ox this year? Who knows? <laughs> Not me. Wait. What? Did we just take a second? Oh. So I always get Pillar Drop Rescue and Pilgrim of the Ages confused. Because they're both cards that like have this apparition floating in a diagonal direction. So I think I thought... Hunter, stop. I think I thought I had one and I really had the other. But I think now I have both. Glad there's another pack. We could use some more fixing here. They are both pretty ghostly. They're both spirits. And they both, like, net you a card. Only this one doesn't fly and this one does. I don't I don't get it, but alright. Eh. I mean, I feel like it's like defend the campus just because it takes care of big things. We already have a spirit summoning. I mean, it turns off like the problem with strict protector. Oh, God, what was I going to say? This like the problem with strict protector is it turns off. It turns off our spellbinder. It turns off our pilgrim. It turns off uh, this 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 spirit. Turns off this guy. Like, it turns off a lot of our cards. And I just don't think it's worth it for, like, a 1-2. A 1-3 flyer. <clears throat> so, 5 mana for a 2-4. Spirits get plus 1. Yeah, this card's, this card's great for us. Also a Dark Ritual. Exxon Online Permanence Controller creates a 3-2. Also, closing statement. Let's take the closing statement and hope we can pick up some some silver quill lands. Another pilgrim. We can also just take Tezzeret's Gambit. Hmm. <coughs> I mean, Tezzeret's Gambit is playable. I actually think Pilgrim's probably better for us, to be quite honest. It still draws us a card, and... Oh, can we mana tithe? Are we mana tithing? Can we get some people? We're gonna get some people. I 
I kind of like Lorehold Campus here, but I think Combat Professor is actually better. We have two black cards right now. They both cost five. Oh, another Archway Commons is nice. Um, Yeah, I'll just take the Archway Commons. So this is 27, so we need like two cuts. Don't actually care about this guy. I don't really care about Ageless Guardian either. Oh, Reconstruct History is insane. I uh, Return an artifact, enchantment, instant, sorcery, and planeswalker from your graveyard or hand. So like this draws two at the very least. You're, you're usually getting an instant and a sorcery. I don't think Fracture. I mean, I'm tempted to just take the black cards out. Actually, that's probably better than, like, this guy. I'm not even a huge fan of the bird, either. But it does have flying, which gives the orator flying, so that's something. Why is this bird in a pile by itself? Oh, the Oral Camps came. That's pretty good. <clears throat> wow, that Pillar Drop Rescuer came back? I mean, that's gotta be... I don't think the bird is even worth it, to be honest. And so, the closing statement also probably not super worth it. Return instant or sorcery. Do we have enough cards to make this worth it? It can't get back a creature. It's our instant sorcery distribution. Instant. Okay, it's not great. It's probably a pretty easy cut. How many lessons do we have? I think at least... Okay, so we have three playable lessons, and we can just ignore pest summoning. So I think we're probably cutting <clears throat> Thrilling Discovery here. Creatures? 16? 17. And the, the double pilgrim should also help with the uh, the dramatic finale as well. Oh, what up, not the plague? All right, can we manatize some people? Let's find out. Oh, turn one, Gotti. Are we on the draw? Oh, I think so. No, we're not. I lied. We're not going to counter anything on turn one. We're going to play this guy on two. Keep up, man. Side.
have you had a good day? Yeah, my day's been all right. <clears throat> We've been packing boxes this weekend and preparing for the move. So that was a good draw. See, next time we can go Pilgrim, play the planes that we draw, and still keep up Mana Tithe. We're going to get some value. We're going to be, we're going to be tithe in here, boys. Got he. play this guy because I want to hit land, so. Good times. Oh man, moving is never sweet. Moving is always just miserable. It's super overwhelming and stressful and so much work, like, I don't enjoy it at all. Then you always you always end up packing something up that you need. You're like, oh no, I needed this, so I packed it up. Moving is a great opportunity to throw shit away. I agree with you. Interesting. Show me what you've got. Oh, let's do that. Uh, don't care about any of these things, really. I guess Tome Shredder is the, the biggest threat. <laughs> Go banana rose. <laughs> when you're packing, do you respect the wood? Buddy, I always respect wood. But I don't know how that has to do with packing. I really just want another land. Is that too much to ask? I guess I can get one. Ha ha ha. I mean, they're basically dead, right? Man, that feeling when you need lands, and then your guys, can, your the creatures in your hand, just give you lands. Play that sloth. Drop them down onto the board. Five minute tone shredder. I understand. What the fuck? Uh, 
Uh, all right. Oh, well, I guess we had five anyway, right? But I mean, you could have like, I, don't, I guess you couldn't do anything. I don't know. Was... Could have played that, made my guy unable to attack, right? I don't know. The point is there are, there are better options. This bird's a lot better when you put a put a counter on it. <laughs> I just want my dog by my side in my hour, in my final hour. You got six drop, five drop, doggy, five drop. <clears throat> they call me doggy five drops. No one calls me that. I kind of like Illuminate History here. We have a good number of lands we can toss. Like we'll have at least two. Next time we'll play these two, we'll draw another planes. Then the following turn, you might be able to discard three. Oh, McGimp, welcome back. Really appreciate the resub. Also, being at the end of the month, if you guys want to subscribe or support the channel, it's definitely helpful before the end of April. Well, I didn't expect a second Stone Rise spirit. It's your boy. Don't really want to trade here, so I won't. I think their hand is like five drop, six drop, five drop, five drop, and then three lands. Like it's 
good for us, I guess. Why can't cube draft be easy over the internet? It's a valid question. No block. Like dealing one to take three more is not. I'm actually going to discard the general too because it doesn't really do much for us. Really? The one creature that actually lets you cast the cards in the hand next time? Would not have expected that block. I guess we're just playing slop here. Yeah, no blocks. I'll take it. Okay, well. The less you acknowledge my cute comment, the less I meant. <laughs> okay, well, that's... That is fair. That shouldn't have been nearly as funny as it was. Oh, man. Hello? Okay, I'm definitely adding this to the soundboard. Uh, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Okay, that's going to go on there. Let's add that guy. 
I really hate that man. I really hate that man. <laughs> oh man, Jurassic Park is a banger. It's actually been a while since I've seen Jurassic Park. Probably like a year or two, so I think I need to do a rewatch. Oh, it definitely still holds up. Definitely still holds up. Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be super cool. Making a five five and a two two on turn four. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a banana banger if I ever if I ever saw a banana banger. Well, that would be one. One, two, three. Man, these have been some satisfying mana tides. Hmm. One, two, three. He got counterspelled by white. Got him. I don't think it's that. It might just be introduction of prophecy. Maybe it has to be this. This card's just good. How you gonna get tired? How you gonna get tired on your day off? Fair's fair, I guess. care about any of these really. How are you gonna get fired on your day off? Oh, you got some pests, huh? Okie dokie. Well, hmm. Oh, 
Put them pests on the board. Do, 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 do. Something good. That'll do. Spirit's actually pretty good when they're at two, and plus it gives other guys flying, so let's play that. Plus next turn we can actually play protection. This will trigger, and then we can actually shoot them for three. Wow, are we gonna actually win because of Lorehold Apprentice here? When they just played Scurred Colony? I mean, we could also just give the Pilgrim flying. Sure. Spirit, spirit. Got he. What up, Shua Garner? Yeah, this is great. This heart's fantastic. Yeah, I'm just going to submit. I'm gonna keep this, we're on the draw. We need one land on the top two cards. And we nailed it. Pilgrim gets us a third land. Don't even need it. Oh, what up, Neon Tokyo Rain? Oh, get a little Blex. Oh, wow, that's actually looking... That's looking juicy right now. Because now we're going to have the four lands. Oh, baby. And by lands, I mean, you know, planes. Negate this biscuit. Do they switch decks? Is it now an Abzan deck? I don't understand. I'm not going to attack because they're going to gain one. They go block and they take two. They go to 20 and then we take five. And it's just we're not winning that race. So. Looking for one mountain here. I feel like this is actually okay. Pretty good, but we have defend, so I'm not super scared. I ain't scared. 
Oh, the mic hypothesis was hypothesis. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Are inklings? They're, they're inklings. They're not spirits. Okay. Still no attacks. They're holding down the fort quite well. That's a combination. Oh, that's pretty good. I saw her in. What happens if I shoot your little blicks? Absolutely nothing. I hope this resolves, otherwise we're in bed. Okie dokie, seems good. See, now I'm feeling better about attacking. In response to blops, huh? Not great, Bob. It's a one. I can't read the rent total and what is missing. Can you tell me the difference? The difference, $61. Okay, that, this is significantly better as a 2-2 a two -two and a 2-2 two -two on turn like 7. Wait, what? No! Well, that was unfortunate. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> oh my god. Sammy, I fucking love you, dude. Oh my God, Sammy, you're amazing. Oh man, what a hero. What an absolute saint of a person. That makes me sad that they got rid of that. Don't like it. Sammy, thank you so much, dude. Oh my God, you're amazing. You lie. <laughs> I told the truth. Neon Tokyo Rain lied. But I think it's also, I think he also just can't read. And I think you're just, we're, we're, we're hitting upon a bigger issue here, which is that he can't read. What's this do? One, two, we have three things we can exile? Oh, baby. Aren't they blocking anything? They're not trading with anything. It's very weird. <laughs> he needs a five minute ban, but I can't ban mods. Oh, the Mike hypothesis with 10 bones. I'm going to add this to the, to the April. You guys are amazing. 83011. Thank you guys Shut so much. I love you guys. Money. Oh, Kerwin wants the money too. Look at this money train, guys. You guys are amazing. This is gonna help because we also had to pay the security deposit. So it's actually funny because there's an overlap between rent right now. So we're moving in, our, our lease starts at the new place um, on May 3rd, so next Monday. But our lease here ends on June 13th. So there's literally like a five week overlap where we're paying two months, or like two months, two, two rent for two houses at once. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, to be quite honest. Uh, back with you. And with you, 
And with you and with you. Need some custom house furniture? Shut up and take my money. Kind of, yeah, dude. But also, I feel like shipping would be a nightmare. Um, wait, who's this blocking? You're both blocking the orator. All right, well, I'll kill your creature. Which house did we get? Oh, wait, it's, in the, it's in our chat, dude. Kurt, right, I'll send you the link. So yeah, every everything you guys are everything you guys are sending is super super helpful, and I love you guys, and you're all amazing. What'd they do? Oh, they just made a five five. Huh, a negate. Well, so four four. Sure, I'll just take the. I guess it doesn't really matter. Six manas. Mm. Five five is actually quite problematic. One, two, three, four, five. But I kind of want to just trade for this guy before it gets bigger. What if we attack with everything? Here's the scam. I send it to Amazon. I put up the product. You buy it on Prime and get it shipped for free. That sounds actually quite brilliant. But wouldn't you have to also pay to send it to Amazon? I, I guess that would be closer, though. Because I, I assume there's a warehouse near you. I don't know how Amazon works. It's really confusing. If we attack with everything. They go probably block here. Block here takes six. But then they... I just don't think it's worth it. 816 William. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, getting that guy out of here right before we play a flyer is. Uh... Yep, there's a lot of big dudes. None of them got reach, though. So we know they have a negate in hand. That's good to know. Hold on, I gotta change my. The Rentorino needs to be changed. Do you mean Rentorino? Kind of. No box. Oh, I like that. Man, one red is really a... Actually, we can play both of these, right? Seems good. I feel like they're basically dead here. Okay, widgets, widgets everywhere. Um. Can we just alpha and kill them? Probably, right? Block, block. They take one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and Yeah. Got he. And go. What are you going to say? April rent? Sure. No, we'll say May rent. We'll just skip April. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Sure. Oh, okay. You got it. Amount. You guys are amazing. Look, we're already fourteen percent in. Oh, 
Also, we're 2-0 in this draft. That's kind of cool. Man, I talked some shit about Lorehold, but... I shouldn't have. Curry, you did help, help head. Sammy, you totally helped. Get out of here. What's wrong with you? You're being ridiculous. Sammy, you're the hero we need. Uh, I don't care enough. I don't care enough to monetize that. Oh, bad, bad times. It's the red to white technology. When are you going to play Commander with Moochlam? Uh, probably never. I'm not a commander fan. I don't I don't enjoy the format terribly. Who are we going to play? I don't think playing precons would actually make it better for me. Interesting. Huh. They got menace. <laughs> hmm. Well. One of my other big problems with Commander is that I just can't keep... It's very hard to keep track of. Like, there's so much going on. There's four life totals. Everyone has card numbers, different card numbers in their hand. There's, like, seven permanents on everyone's board. Like, it's just a lot to keep track of. And I feel like if I'm not able to do that effectively, then, like, I don't enjoy it as much. You got it. We did a four player mono green match and it was the most ridiculous ramp and creature buff that I've ever seen. If like, so the other thing is like if, if magic online or like MTG arena is keeping track of that stuff, I feel much better about it, but I feel like the, like the physical bookkeeping necessary for commander games is also, I don't know. It's a lot of things. It's overwhelming to me. I think it's overwhelming to my senses. Get good scrub is actually good advice. I, uh, wow, the early playing around mana tithe here, which is very, very strange.
I guess I could just block with Warden and give them less of a choice as to what we're... That spaceship game again. Oh, you mean um, Among Us? That is a good question. Yep, two, three, four, five. They have six cards, we have six cards. I feel like our board is a little better. I'm scared to watch the VOD because I hate my voice. Oh man. I broke down and bought four of the secret layer bundles of Shocklands. What does this card do? Oh, I see. Uh, only as a sorcery. Yeah. They played it for cheap and let me draw a card? Interesting. Well, it'd be four each of five of them, not two each of five of them. Every, um, every Shockland bundle has ten shocks and then five extra shocks that are allied colored. So you're, you're going to have about, what is it, like 56 shocks? Is it 60? It is 60 because that's how math works. Three DS is a solid console. Exiling this to make the 3 2 spirit instead? Just to give this flying?
Why am I mastering that? I don't know, dude. It doesn't have one and a quarter playsets. It has one and a half playsets. Every bundle has one and a half playsets. It's only missing a second set of enemy enemy shocks. There's an extra allied shock in the bundle. So you're going to have every bundle comes with 10 allied shocks, 5 enemy shocks. So at the end, I don't, I'm spelling enemy wrong, but you can't see it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So at the end, you'll have 40 allied shocks and 20 enemy shocks. So you're going to have two play sets and then 20 extra allied shocks. Five, six, seven, eight. Kill us in response. Mike, I was also going to get the bundle, but I was, if if you want to sell 10 of your shocks to me... Oh, no, you're going to only have extra... Never mind. Thank you. I was going to say, if you wanted to sell me a playset... Not a playset, but a, a set of the 10, I would pick them up and you could get an extra. But then I'm like, oh, wait, you're only going to have extra allied shocks, not enemy shocks. Raven Nut, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Hey, this is nine... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You don't have trample, right? So at three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, we can put them to one. It's not good enough. Oh, I like I like Tefru. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're keeping both of these. Uh, so we can play something for three. Nope, we're just gonna pass and keep up Tefru's protection so we don't die.
lot of things here. Sorry, I'm not watching. No, we cannot put them to zero. Okay, so that's not a trade, that's a trade, that's not a trade deal. Is there four, five? Yeah, I'm just keeping up Teferi's protection in case they have like, deal you four. All right, they have a bunch of dirtily nerds. Artifact creature, oh, we don't, we don't actually have an official way to splash other than two archway commons. I think our deck is fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I just held the mana tie and it felt like they were playing around it the whole time, but like, who knows? I think we're okay. Yeah, I guess it is good, but I mean, it seemed like they were not, uh, it seemed like they were not, if we have eight and eight, plus one Lorehold school, Lorehold campus, and it's just funny that, like, in every game we'll have, like, six planes and two red sources. Watch, we're gonna draw another plane, you ready? Okay. Mountain would be great, because then we can get our fourth planes. Guys are noxious. Come on, land. Don't do me dirty. So if this guy's a 3-3, it kills both this guy and this guy if we try to double block. I'm just gonna take the one. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. Missing land drops. Good times. Yeah, 
we're just gonna go to the next game. <laughs> it's like just not even worth it after we. It's, it's weird. Weird. I actually kind of want to take one out just to make the dramatic finale easier, which is funny because I feel like we've had an easy time casting it, but I'd still rather. Because it's still eight, nine. No. It is a 10 8. Now that I type it out, I guess that's probably just bad luck. Yeah, I've actually enjoyed this draft format. I enjoy any draft format that lets you easily splash a third color. You know what? Keep it. Remember that time I added an extra planes and then this is the first time I've ever seen four red sources in any game whatsoever? True randomness. Sorry, five red sources. My bad. Interesting. Useful as heck fire. <laughs> That's good, because I was actually be like, man, is there any way I can get more lands? Wait, what? What the fuck? You just let me eat? I don't understand that block. What? What the fuck? <laughs> so you just get it back? Why wouldn't you double block, though? You're still losing one creature, and then you get the guy back anyway. But you didn't even get this guy back. You got this guy, so... I'm extremely confused. I mean, I'm keeping lands because I don't need uh, more than six lands. And if we draw a lesson that lets us discard cards and draw cards, I'd rather have a bunch of cards to discard. Sure. <sighs> you got it. It's the second one, right? Sure.
Oh, I guess I can block with this guy. Yeah, that's actually... Oh, we couldn't last turn. I think we attacked last turn. So I'm like, why did I block? Uh, yeah, they're both dead. Oh, we should have played one land so then we can scry. Yeah, I'm a dumb dumb. I mean, we do need two more white sources for now, but I'm not going to like... I mean, that's why I, I think we'll play one land because they know about it, so... Oh, I think they forgot about the reach. Which might mean it's worth taking two in order to kill the Thunderous Orator. Oh, he has Menace, though? Yeah, I guess we'll just block him. Oh, that's nice because it ruins menace. That was a. Do we have anything we can get back? Not yet. Just creatures. seems good so we can return this replay it and get another land anyway so you got it one four it's a one four good buddy do they have no black sources wow that's pretty wild Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Support the channel. Get those subs in before April. Helps me out. Help me with the rent goal. I'm paying double rent for a month. Believe in the power of the lore hold. And you too can go 3-0 on MTG Arena in your Strixhaven drafts. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. But maybe we can open some packs. How many we got? Do we have 10? I wait until I have 10 and then I pop these bad boys. I want to support Hunter and Little Man. You can. All this can be yours. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.